So next on injury versus scholarship, we have a story of student athlete Stephanie Ponce from Palmview High School. She recently tore her ACL for the second time in just two years. No schools are going to assist her with athletic scholarships, so now she has to think of a new way to pay for her school. Stephanie Ponce was born in McAllen, Texas on December 31st, 1999. She began playing soccer at the age of just five years old. Her desire to win grew stronger as she grew older, along with the love for the sport. Entering high school, she made her way onto the varsity squad as just a freshman. Her father was a main reason she stepped onto the field at a very young age. Ever since then, her life has revolved around the sport of soccer. By her sophomore year, she had torn her ACL during a preseason tournament. Towards the end of her senior year, it happened again on the opposite leg. I recently sat down with Stephanie Ponce for an interview about her injury, scholarships, and how her future plans have changed. So when did all of this happen? Well, my first ACL tear was on my left knee on July 22nd of 2015, the summer of my sophomore year. And then recently, it's my right knee now. And it was on March 20th, the second to last game of my season. your most recent ACL tear, what was your first thought as you went down on that play? I fell to the ground and then I heard like my knee pop three times and I was just there like saying my knee, my knee and then like the trainer came and we checked my knee and everything and they said it was fine and then they like did something like that and they said my ACL was loose and that's when like the tears just came down because I didn't want to go through this again. How many schools were offering these scholarships? Um, I think about four. It was Wiley College in Marshall, Texas. Um, UTRGV was one of them at Edinburgh, Texas. Our Lady of the Lake University in San Antonio, Texas. And I think the last one was West Texas a and at Canyon, Texas. How many of them have contacted you since the news of your ACL spread? Um, to this day, none of them have contacted me. And do you think they will be contacting you? It was a full ride scholarship for all four, and they wanted me to go as soon as I graduated. But I mean, it's a year long recovery, and I don't think they can depend on someone that isn't going to come back 100% after an ACL tour on both knees. So, you were offered scholarships from Wiley College, UTRGV, Our Lady of the Lake University, and West Texas AM. Out of the four, which one were you planning to attend? I was actually planning to attend Our Lady of the Lake University because my former teammates are over there playing in San Antonio, Texas and we we're planning to like dorm together and I have a few family members over there as well so I could like visit them and stuff. If none of the schools contact you before graduation, what are your plans? Um, well, I already enrolled at STC. I got my classes. I'm planning to do my basics here for two years and then transfer to Kingsville to pursue my career as a veterinarian. Those scholarships for soccer were just a backup plan to pay for my tuition just in case I wouldn't qualify for financial aid. Many student athletes fail to acknowledge the various opportunities that are given by their high schools and instead choose to focus on just sports. If you could do one thing different throughout your high school years, what would it be? Um, I would have taken college classes instead of putting so much time and effort into soccer because, you know, an injury can happen in just in the blink of an eye and it can end everything. This is Marie Coyad with Injury versus Scholarships.